last few hours, a Cincinnati police officer who was shot over the weekend was released from the hospital before he left, though. He got a special gift from a retired policeman. The Now's Jordan Burgess takes a closer look at the coin that's bonded them together. This coin has a long history behind it, and now a new chapter has been written. What actually began is a, a simple Christmas drink. That drink set up by Cincinnati police officers to honor three of their own has turned into so much more. That little plaque now that started with three names has 120. The group is called 1132 Living Legend. Why 1132? That's the name of the now closed bar where the first ceremony was held back in 1988. Robert Morgan was the fourth officer to ever be honored. I had tears in my eyes the night that they honored me and I'm sure that most of the guys have, feel exactly the same way. A few years ago, this coin was given to all the members. Paul Vogelpohl, a nearly 30-year police veteran, is one of the 120-plus officers and civilians who can call themselves living legends. Vogelpohl has been in the hospital for several weeks with pancreatic cancer, but his son Eric says a day ago he got a new next-door neighbor. Officer Grubbs was moved right to the room right next to him. Officer Kenneth Grubbs was recovering after being shot by a suspect in Walnut Hills over the weekend. Vogelpohl had a special honor in mind for him. He goes, I want, I want to give Ken my, um, my Living Legends coin. He goes, he deserves it more than I do. So Vogelpohl presented Grubbs with his coin, minting a new legend to be passed down through the years. With Paul Vogelpohl making that gesture with Grubbs, we now have two legends. Jordan Burgess, The Now, Cincinnati.